Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Ben Du again, and today is 2020, April 20th. We are going to continue discuss semi trailer again in this time. Today, we are going to talk about the tank, semi trailer. Sometimes we just call it tanker. It is very easy to say, same as other semi trailers. We put a tank on top of a chassis. That's how we make it become a tanker. It has many different purposes to use and uh, many different ways to categorize it. I categorize it by different purposes to use for you easier to understand how many type of uh, the tank semi trailer is. Okay, let's uh, have a look at drawing first before we see the category. This is how it looks when we have a tank semi trailer, same like uh, the skeleton. You just put uh, you just put a superstructure tank on top of a chassis, then you have a tank semi trailer. It uh, looks like a, this is a tank tank truck. This is not a tank semi trailer. It is looks like this way. It has a tank body, and it uh, has a catwalk on the top. It has uh, the cover plate uh, at the rear of the top and have a dish head at the end and at the front. Also a safety at the rear and indicator plate at the rear for the other drivers and the other people. The fire extinguisher most of the time is in case and also the cast, the host box here. Also you have the flange to support the tank body to make sure the tank body is stable on the chassis and also you have the discharge and the operation box here same as other semi trailer you also have the protection here we call it side guard in the front in the front you also have a ladder to get to the top and also you have the chassis here and the landing gear here so let's have a look a category before we see the picture we can category them in the different purpose of using I category it uh, like uh, the dry powder tank semi trailer in case to transport uh, semi powder flour powder or milk powder these two type are food degree so it would require higher uh, spare parts like a uh, food level to make sure the safety of the food and also we can cut with them like uh, the liquid tank semi trailer in purpose to transport different type of liquid like the petroleum, gasoline, diesel, those are all the petroleum product. Like a water tank, it can also transport water from city A to city B. Uh, milk powder, uh, sorry, not milk powder, milk and the beer. Those two are also food level. You need to make sure there is no remaining from the last beach. So we can have a more videos to discuss them in the future. Uh, after that, you can have the LPG and LNG tank semi trailer. We can call it an energy tank, but uh, there is no necessary to make an uh, uh, abstract uh, idea for you, just to let you know. It is also a pressure tank. Also, we would have um, another type of using tank, we call it a chemical tank, something like uh, alcohol or the sulfuric acid. It is very dangerous and we are going to see them also today. Just to have a look. This is a normal looking tank picture. 
here is an indicator plate to put the indicator of what type of cargo inside to let the other people know um, exactly if there is any accident. So basically you can see the tank semi-trailer is quite dangerous because it's carrying the unknown liquid to the other people, I mean outside of the driver and the company of the transportation. This is another picture of the tank semi-trailer. And this is a, also give you idea how it looks from the rear and uh, tell the difference between each other. This is a, a dry powder tank. You can see it is different than the cylinder looks like. This is also another one, another dry tank. This is uh, also for the uh, dry powder. As you can see the sign here, they mark a flower wheel. There you can, you know it is a foot degree. Here is another tank truck. This is a simo keeping, this is a temperature keeping tank with a, a protection to make sure the inside cargo won't lose any temperature during the transportation. So let's have a look uh, more pictures. Uh, this is a rough idea. This would give you the rough idea how the dry powder tank it looks like. You can put the cement inside and it would use uh, the diesel engine machine and air compressor to give the pressure to the inside of the tank. So the dry powder inside of the tank would liquefy. Then it would uh, get out from those pipes to the outside. You, we normally load it from the top by the manhole. This picture gives you idea how the manhole looks like. This is quite dangerous actually. When it's working, it has a 0 0.2 bar pressure inside. Uh, if uh, there's any accident, it would give a, a lot of power. So we should uh, keep ourselves further from it during the working if we are not going to use uh, and operate it. Okay, after the cement, uh, after the dry powder tank, we can have a look about the liquid tank. Liquid tank also has many different uh, material to build. You can build them as a carbon steel, like this one. This is uh, how the people are using this type of tank in China. It looks uh, very dirty, but it's, uh, it's just a transporting the cargo from the off-road to the road and the cargo itself inside is sometimes dirty. If the driver won't clean it uh, on time, it would be dirty, for sure. And also you can make them by the aluminum. This picture is what we have built for Venezuela. They buy a lot of them for the petroleum product uh, there. The same old protection we were talking about, it would be looks like this. It uh, sometime uh, we build a tank body like this, and we build uh, different uh, um, parts like this and like this, and then we put um, a simple like a glass wall or uh, the other material in the middle between the shell and the tank body itself. After that, it would look like this. Very beautiful. So make sure we make sure the glass wall would keep the temperature higher inside. This is for the uh, acid. Some of them is for the crude oil.
and also we built uh, some uh, different tanks uh, like uh, fiberglass. This is very special. We have built some of them for the Cuba market. This tank is built for the palm oil. And in Chinese, it says uh, this tank is for the edible oil. Also, we build the normal steel tank for the water. And also, we build the. Oh, this is uh, the milk tank. We carry milk and also transportation for the uh, beer. This is uh, the tank for the beer. After that, uh, we would have uh, the LPG tank. LPG tank and the LNG tank is carrying the liquid uh, petroleum gas or the liquid natural gas to make sure they are using this type of tank to transport uh, the liquid petroleum gas from city A to city B. So it has many different uh, after looking and many different standards. It also has a lot of pressure and a lot of uh, different uh, uh, spare parts for it. We are going to have more videos in the future to discuss it if we have time. Okay, um, let's have a look at LNG. This is what LNG looks like. It is looks like exactly um, like LPG, but uh, it's LNG. Also, it's a pressure tank. After that, we would have uh, the chemical tank, like using to transfer the sulfuric acid, like this one, and this one. And this is also built to carry the sulfuric acid because it's uh, pretty heavy, and the density of the sulfuric acid is also very higher than the normal liquid cargo and also it is uh, keeping uh, keeping giving the temperature out it's heating itself all the time this is another picture for the chemical tank most of the time uh, we use them to uh, transport uh, the Okay, here is a drawing of the tank looks like. You can easily see uh, the tank is uh, having the tank body on the top of the chassis. Between the chassis and the uh, tank, we have a support plate to make sure the tank stay on the chassis. And we have a manhole on the top in case the people can go from the top to the bottom to the inside of the tank to like uh, repairing or checking the problem it's dangerous but sometimes we need to do it after that let's have a look about the parts parts it, the tank of the parts as we were seeing for different purpose use we would have uh, so many different purpose First of all, we have the tank body. Um, we would build the tank body first before we build any tank trailer. Those pictures are for the cement a dry powder tank. And this is an uh, air compressor. This is an air compressor for the dry powder tank. And this is a diesel machine for Okay, here, let's have a look at video. This is a diesel machine to give the power to the air compressor. So this is how we're testing it. Okay, this is a man hole and it's pretty dangerous. During the working, you should not touch the bar at all. I should not stand there, but I was young. 
Inside, we have those type of the pops to make sure the cargo inside would uh, liquefy and uh, discharge very fast. This is how it looks like inside. Um, we have a lot of other parts, like this is for the dry powder. And between the dry powder and the liquid fire tank, we have uh, some other parts we're using for all of them, like the catwalk. This is a catwalk. Uh, all the tank trailer must have uh, the catwalk on the top because we need to get to the top sometime. Uh, and the protection. The protection of um, mm, this is the kingpin plate. Kingpin plate uh, for the tank because you need to have the kingpin but different than the other chassis, you would have the tank on top of it. So most of the time we would assemble the kingpin plate under the tank in case we are going to remove it in the future. Uh, this is a flange for all the tanks. We need to use them to connect uh, the pipes and the light for all the tanks. Uh, for the liquefied tank, we have other a lot of uh, spare parts like uh, this is also the catwalking and we have uh, uh, we have our own document to, to introduce uh, what it looks like and how we are going to use it. In the future, I'm going to do the, a detailed video to show you. Uh, we also have a fire extinguisher bucket to carry with different design. And uh, sometimes you need to polish in your tank. Uh, this is how you're polishing your tank. Looks, uh, very shiny, very beautiful. And this is uh, the heating system inside the tank. Sometimes when you're carrying the like a crude oil, uh, if the temperature is very low, you cannot get it out. So you need the heating system to make sure it's liquefied. Uh, this is a manhole, and uh, this one is using to measure the height and uh, volume of the cargo inside that's how you know you are how much you are selling and how much you are buying this is manhole different manhole this is uh this is a discharge and operation cabin this is uh, how we are opening our discharge cabin it looks uh, pretty fancy fiberglass uh, spare parts for fiberglass tank and this is uh, the anti-static uh, electrical device you need to release the static electricity from the tank body time to time to make sure you're out of the fire this is what we were talking about uh, the glass wall temperature keeping material after of the tank body and under the shell. Make sure we can keep the temperature inside. This is how we are doing the temperature keeping uh, in our factory uh, by the putting them on using those spare those parts to fix it on the tank body. And then we use a lot of other materials to cover it to make sure it would work well. We have a lot of spare parts, uh, those valves, of course, and the pops. Um, so we cannot have all of them in one video. Uh, we are going to have a rough figure what tank semi-shiner it looks like. In the future, we are going to separate all of them and uh, have more videos uh, one by one for them. Um, at the last, we are going to see how we are pack them from China to the outside of the world. Most of the time, we are using the brick block vessel to transport it from China to the other country. This is a rule on rule off vessel. We can drive the we can drive the tank into the rural vessel. Then it would protect the tank better than the brick box. This brick box is using their deck to carry the tank semi-trailer. This is a, a flat rock container to carry a tank body. Sometimes our client is just needing a tank body, not a tank semi-trailer uh, uh, 
or assembling. They just need a part. They will do something after arrive to their facility. This, I think, we are using the rule on rule off vessel to transporting the tank, semi trailer, and the tractor prime mover together to our client. This is a brick box. Those kind of canvas trampoline would keep the seawater away from your trailer, but it cost more. But it would it would protect your trailer better than the expose outside. This is how they are lifting the tank trailer from the port to their vessel. Most of the time, they operate uh, in the night. This is the daytime. This is how they are loading. Same, they will use the same way to unload it. So it is uh, a little bit dangerous than the row on row off. But that's how we transporting it. This picture shows you how we are going to use containers to do the SKD transportation of the tank semi-trailer. So we separate uh, the like uh, two tanks in three 40 foot high cube or 45 foot high cube after it arrives uh, your employee can unload all the spare parts then assemble them together we put two bodies in two containers and two chassis in one container for our clients and this is how it looks like okay uh, this this is how we do the SKD for the LPG and LNG uh, semi trailer. It is uh, same same idea like this. Uh, the last we yeah this is uh, the last batch we were shipping out uh, the trailer to the other country. Okay, uh, that's, this picture is good. I think this picture is saying goodbye to everybody. Thanks for your time. I hope to see you next time. Bye. Thanks.